the other day when I posted that video about Lily of um, legit nutrition in Hawaii, and I referenced this article that was sent to me by a, a caring but seriously wrong uh, fan giving me this article on how to eat low carb as a vegetarian or vegan that was put out by this website or blog called Authority Nutrition. Coachable.net. I thought the name seemed vaguely familiar and then suddenly it clicked. I remember seeing something that my friend Vegan Gains in Canada put out about Authority Nutrition. Authority Nutrition received an entire episode of his worst of the fitness industry. Take a look at what Vegan Gains has to say about Authority Nutrition right here. Who is Authority Nutrition? Well, it's hard to say. The only evidence of his existence are retarded, biased, pandering nutrition articles and one unflattering photo of a fat, oily, bald man. Now, I don't like to be the look-at-me bro types, but when you're following your own nutrition advice and you end up looking like this, you might want to be a little worried. The sad part is, this guy must have thought that was a particularly good photo or else he wouldn't have posted it. Now, assholes like Mike Chang may be overall more well known, and don't worry, we'll get to him later, but first we have to deal with the small fish. But Authority Nutrition is by far the most referenced fad diet promoting idiot that I have to encounter in the YouTube comments. And it's likely because morons are impressed by his ability to cherry pick studies that have little to no relevance to his claims. Now, a typical YouTube troll comment calls me a biased vegan who cherry picks studies to support his claims. So it's only logical you listen to a guy who adamantly promotes meat and disparages veganism because there's no way he's biased. He eats meat. Meat makes you unbiased. So what is Authority's Nutrition unbiased and medically supported take on veganism? So we start things off stupid, which at least sets an even pace. Now the reality is B12 is produced by bacteria which is found in fresh water or on the dirt from the plants we eat. But because we live in modern times where we drink treated water and we well wash our vegetables, B12 has to be gotten from supplementation or fortified foods. But in Authority Nutrition's fantasy world, it all comes from meat. The reason B12 deficiencies are less prevalent among meat eaters is because meat eaters eat more fortified foods, whereas vegans eat less fortified foods and they generally don't take a B12 supplement. So the issue here isn't that vegans aren't eating meat, it's that we aren't taking a B12 supplement. So why is Authority Nutrition arguing that meat is the issue here? But it couldn't have anything to do with him being biased, he eats meat after all. Meat makes you unbiased. Next he talks about protein, specific amino acids, DHA, and of course to impress all of his victims of incest who read his articles, <coughs> he has links to studies. But the funny thing is, these aren't studies on meat, they're studies on supplements, supplements, and supplements. So according to Authority Nutrition, vegans shouldn't take any vitamin supplementation at all, including B12, but when you see studies that show a health benefit to supplementation, that says to him, we should eat meat. He's not biased, he eats meat, remember? And as for his DHA argument, he hilariously links studies which go against his stance on saturated fat and cholesterol. That's right, Authority Nutrition thinks cholesterol and saturated fat don't cause heart disease, and he even thinks butter is a health food that protects against heart disease. And then he links studies that go against his own interest, probably because that's the best he could cherry pick. Vegans and vegetarians do tend to eat a lot of oils that are high in omega-6, which reduce omega-3 conversion rates, but again, how is this an issue with a lack of meat in one's diet? This issue could easily be solved by cutting out oils and eating more omega-3 rich nuts and seeds, but in Authority Nutrition's mind, every problem can be solved with a nice hunk of meat. I said he's not biased! And he goes on to claim that cholesterol is a crucial nutrient needed to produce testosterone, but oddly enough, he doesn't cite this study which shows that vegans have the same level of androgens as meat eaters. None of the studies he cited even demonstrated that the minimal difference in testosterone levels between diet groups was even caused by cholesterol. So why is he making such absolutist statements on testosterone and cholesterol when the studies he cited have nothing to do with testosterone and cholesterol? 
It's not because he's biased. He probably just didn't know those studies. And now for the grand finale. There are no studies showing that vegan diets are better than other diets. What? Yeah, that's right, folks. There are none. Oh, stop making fun of him. He's just stupid. He doesn't know any better. So that's authority nutrition, folks. As long as you tell people what they want to hear, then they'll believe you. That's right. And looking at this latest um, article that I've seen coming out of Authority Nutrition on how to eat low carb as a vegetarian or vegan that was put out in May 2016, I can see exactly where Vegan Gains got his mindset on exactly how bad the advice is that Authority Nutrition panders out and gets given the illusion of being science, meanwhile it's further from the truth. That's my take on the matter personally. Remember, share your comments, questions, criticisms in the space down below. Thumbs up if you like the content, share it out amongst your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay subscribed to all my content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Remember, stay carved up for the win. See you next time. Cheers.